Hi everyone, this is Abhyuddin Ahmed Siddiqui and now I'm going to demonstrate on calculating memory size on sampling rate. So how can you can how do you how will you can calculate the size of a movie file or a video file or something like that. So now see that using sampling rate right <clears throat> we have different sizes of sampling rates uh, sorry Sampling rates or the frequency at which sampling can be used. Now, first one is let's suppose 128 KB PS. Let's suppose 4400, 44,100 KB PS. So, let's suppose. Uh, 96,000 and 98,000 so you will see the different uh, ranges of sampling rate will be uh, there and you will have to work according to the given ranges so uh, these are the common ranges which I have just written on the paper so now going to demonstrate you about how to calculate this so let's suppose I'm going to present you the question here uh, let's suppose if if you buy a CD or DVD right which has numerous tracks numerous tracks right and it was sampled at 44,100 samples per second right where E sample is of 16 bits we can change this into let's suppose 8 bits or we can change this into 20 bits or 24 bits right so it could be varying or this uh, sample rate could be varying right so uh, is of 16 bits since the music is in stereo format so when you are asked about the stereo you have to it should be considered this should also be considered right so now what you have to uh, uh, see here that means you have given a sampling rate you have given a sample bits rate and you are given a channel which is of stereo this is not the mono channel mono channel means one channel means that means if one mono channel means that means if it is producing eight bits so that means eight multiplied by two equals to 16 bits so that means you have to calculate the size of a music track file size equals to 
sampling rate multiply by number of channel multiply by bit rate bit rate bit rate or you can say j just you can say this to sample bits right so collectively we have this formula and we are going to calculate this way 44100 multiply by 2 multiply by 16 so this will give you the value even though this is this will be very big value which is not very easy to calculate for those who have not who are not good at maths so keeping in view so this will give you one four double one two hundred bits per second right and if you divide it by eight will give you the number of bytes you can write this file size in bytes here it is a bits right so you will see one four one one sorry two hundred divided by 8 will give you 176400 bytes so this is the answer of now move on to the next part that is about if you are going to add the length of the video so watch the next video so till the time thanks